Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the new BlackBerry Playbook from Research in Motion. In this episode, we're going to talk about what the BlackBerry Playbook actually is. Now, if you're familiar with the BlackBerry name, you're probably thinking of smartphones. BlackBerry has, in fact, been one of the most popular smartphones out there. And Research in Motion has long been talking about putting a tablet out into the market under the BlackBerry name, and the Playbook is the long-awaited tablet. It is now sometime in uh, late 2010, and is actually now just hitting the market. Now, because of the long delay between the announcement of the product and its final launch, people were starting to get a little bit worried about what it would be and would it actually stack up to the competition. With BlackBerry actually struggling a little bit in the smartphone category, this was really seen as a make or break product for Research in Motion. Now, the good news, of course, is that the Playbook is finally here and it is actually a fairly good device in a lot of ways, but there are a couple of quirks to it which we'll get into here. Now the Playbook comes with a 7-inch widescreen display which makes it quite a bit smaller than the iPad. In fact, when you look at them side to side, the iPad is about twice the size of the Playbook. Now of course the smaller size of the screen means there's a lot less space to work with on the screen itself. So if you're used to a large display on something like the iPad, then something like this may not have all the space you'd want. One really interesting feature about the Playbook though is that it doesn't actually have any buttons on the front for interacting with the display itself. It's just touching the display itself and touching the bezel around the outside. So instead of actually touching a button to get home, you would actually swipe up from one of the edges of the bezel in order to accomplish certain tasks on the Playbook. We'll talk more about those gestures in the next part of the series where we show you how to interact with the tablet itself. Despite the Playbook's small size, it includes not one but two cameras. So if you look on the front bezel, it actually has a small camera. It's three megapixels. If you flip around to the back, you see another camera, and that one's 5 megapixels. Both of these can be used for video conferencing, of course, but it also allows you to shoot really high-quality photographs and videos. Now, while you're still looking at the back, you'll also notice the big BlackBerry logo on there, but you also notice a back that doesn't come off. So unlike other BlackBerry products of late, you can actually get into the battery compartment of this. So for those of you who like to go out on long trips and then midway through swap out to an extra battery so that you can keep your power going, that's not exactly going to work this time with the BlackBerry Playbook. So along the top edge of the BlackBerry Playbook, you'll see a few controls, including the power switch for turning it on and off. You'll see a play control, volume control buttons, and you'll also see along the far edge a headphone jack. Along the bottom edge, you'll see three connectors here, one for micro USB to connect to power or to connect to a computer. You'll see a micro HDMI connector for connecting to a display. You'll also see another proprietary connector here for connecting to accessories like, for example, a dock. Along the bottom, you'll also see a note indicating how much memory is inside the BlackBerry Playbook. In this case, we have 16 gigabytes, but there's also versions in 32 and 64 gigabytes. Some of the features of the BlackBerry Playbook are buried inside the device itself. One of them is Wi-Fi, so you have the ability to connect to access points near you. One of the things that isn't included, however, is 3G wireless connectivity. This is a bit of a head-scratcher for a lot of people that are fans of BlackBerry and actually are used to the smartphones and they're always on connectivity. Now what you do have inside is Bluetooth, which allows you to connect to another smartphone and then go out onto the internet using that connection on your smartphone. Now when you open up the box for the BlackBerry Playbook, there's a few extra things inside. One of them is a USB connector for connecting to your computer and transferring your data back and forth. One of them is a charger, which actually connects to the wall and connects to the USB on the bottom of the BlackBerry Playbook to charge. And you also have a neoprene sleeve, which protects the screen and the back of the Playbook when it's not in use. So for example, if you have it in a pocket or in a carrying case, this will keep it safe. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you how to use the BlackBerry Playbook. You can see the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.